I'm a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. All right, how to survive in business when the next recession hits. Hey, the moment that shit hits the fan in a business, quick decisions are being made. People start looking at their finance and trying to find somewhere to make their dollars stretch a little bit further. And I've talked with so many business owners throughout the years and, and when things get tough, the first thing they cut is their marketing budget. Now, marketing sales are like chicken and egg, right? What comes first? At the end of the day, marketing to me is the front end system that always allows you to generate sales on the back end. Marketing matters, and without it, you don't have anyone to sell to. So a lot of people think that money put into marketing can be easily put elsewhere, and it can be, but will it be as effective? So marketing is the means of spreading your business, especially in times of financial difficulties. Money can easily be put elsewhere, but without marketing, how are you going to attract the attention to keep your business afloat in tough times? So if your revenue is off for the month, why would you stop marketing? Why would you not try to generate more clients? So many people choose to cut marketing budgets because they're focused on the drama of the situation instead of the data that supports them. So I've covered that in a previous video. And if you understand the data of what's going in and out, then you also understand the revenue being generated by your marketing campaigns. It's a no brainer and worth keeping. So instead of cutting marketing budgets, get smarter with your marketing and never stop. Businesses want to dip their toes into every kind of online marketing that they can get their hands on. They just start putting out money on more things, right? They market through Facebook, YouTube, Google Ads, SEO, you name it, right? But when these companies have a bad month, they cut all their marketing completely and redistribute the funds. They, they should be looking at the sources driving the revenue and invest more into those. So you can pinpoint the areas turning the most profitable sales and market smarter, but you don't have to market harder or stop all together like a lot of people do. There's no denying, right? No denying that the last couple years has been a difficult year for some different businesses, right? Expenditures, expenditures and marketing budgets are often the first to go. And most businesses make these decisions without really looking at the data, right? So I choose to do the opposite. I know that business is filled with cycles and that people will eventually be back into business and looking to expand. So when times get tight, I go all in on marketing. Now, I don't recommend being careless about it. You need to put it into the marketing producing the highest ROI for your company, right? You're gonna grow while your competitors shrink if you do this. So the lesson here is never stop marketing, right? It's the fastest way to consistently bring in new clients. If you gained value from this video, do me a favor and hit that like button and help the YouTube algorithm. Also comment and share if you'd like, thank you.